My name is Jack Rasmussen. I'm the director and curator of the American University Museum in Washington, D.C., down in the Katzen Art Center, down the road a piece. Uh, but before that, I was out here in Rockville. I was the first director of the Rockville Arts Place, now Viz Arts. So I'm pretty familiar with the neighborhood. I um, certainly uh, uh, know I've been out here, I guess, uh, many times. And uh, this is a really well-run organization. The, uh, the people here put together this, uh, this jury and process was excellent. And, um, and the artists really came through. This is an amazing uh, body of uh, work that was brought here. It's about 195 pieces, and uh, it was my job to get it down to about 80. There was a lot to work with to come up with, I think, of what is a really good show. Uh, case in point here is uh, a watercolor by Sally Drew. And uh, people always ask, well, why do you choose this piece and not that piece? Or you know, what were you looking for? Or what, uh, how come you didn't choose mine? But uh, basically, uh, what I look for is, um, first thing I look at is how it's made. Physically, what's the process? And what kind of uh, you know, control has the artist exerted in that process? You know, have they mastered their medium? And, uh, and I think clearly this is just a beautiful, beautiful watercolor. Uh, very subtle and, uh, and just gorgeous, gorgeous color. Really uh, got a little symphony here. This is a perfect, perfect little painting that uh, you should buy and uh, give to somebody you love because it's just a, a beautiful little painting. This is a painting by Lita Gerson called Swirling Waters, and uh, I love this painting. I, I really do. I think, uh, you know, unlike the, uh, the winners in the uh, print, print and drawing category or the uh, watercolor category, this painting is uh, less representational and more abstract, more expressionistic. And uh, I don't know what's going on in here, uh, really. Uh, but, but whatever it is, it really kind of uh, makes me interested, makes me get a feeling about it. Uh, it's very beautiful. Um, you can see, you know, landscape elements to be sure. But uh, what's going on down here is very mysterious. And uh, I, I just, and I, and I love the whole thing. I mean, it really is uh, all equally sort of abstract, even when you're doing a landscape element up here, uh, the color, the gesture, everything. It's uh, really an exciting painting. And, uh, and I like paintings that leave you wondering, you know, what, uh, what's, what exactly is going on. And something to allow your imagination to uh, sort of take off on itself. And uh, it's a beautiful little piece. There's, uh, as you can see, there's a, it's a landscape in the back. It's a castle and it's seen through a window. So you have the exterior outdoors and the interior, more intimate space here. Kind of beautiful little still life. Maybe some roses you can see through the, through the window. Uh, it's it's a. Uh, I took uh, I took etching in art school, and um, mine weren't anything like this. They were, mine were uh, kind of a mess you know, compared to this one. This is uh, really really uh, beautifully done. You should buy it. And make a great Christmas gift. This is a painting by a Norwegian artist, Lillian Blum, and. Uh, this is, the category is uh, mixed media. Uh, this is uh, very experimental. It's a, a computer generated uh, image that uh, most of the work was done inside the computer. And then it gets uh, put out. The output is on the canvas. And uh, it's just, I mean, it, it shows you just how far things have come because this is a beautiful physically. It used to be, 
uh, you know, produce something with a computer and could have a great image, but it wouldn't be an object that you'd want to take home with you. But I could take this home with me. This is really, really beautiful. And uh, the subtlety and the richness and the, uh, the excitement of the, uh, the composition. There's just some wonderful, wonderful things going on in here. I love I love the, the changes in scale and the, and, the, and the different layers really make it a quite an exciting piece. Be great underneath your Christmas tree. If you can fit it, right? <laughs> Got to have a big tree. This is a sculpture by Francis Letterer called The Family. And uh, it's a really, I, I gave it first prize because I think it's a very ambitious little sculpture. I mean, this is you know, something for a figure group like this work. And I uh, really enjoyed uh, the way it was done. And uh, I think it uh, makes a really nice kind of emotional statement about families as well as the well-crafted 